Principles of Sports Nutrition. Vitamins and minerals are difficult to see with the naked eye, which is why it took so long for them to be discovered. They had to wait for the technology, and after that, we became aware that the substances that lie apparently dormant in food or essential to the equation of energy as the actual calories or energy was itself. Now we know that you can't utilize fats, carbs, and proteins without the essential vitamins and minerals. They are the catalyst. They are essential to the production of enzymes that facilitate the equations that ultimately produce ATP inside the body. Vitamins can be categorized as fat-soluble, like vitamins A, D, E, and K, and water-soluble, like the B vitamins and vitamin C. Minerals are a different category, unlike the vitamins were made out of them, but they also, like the vitamins, catalyze enzymatic reactions. Both are dependent on each other. Both minerals and vitamins, as they're defined, are essential, must have them, or will die. I think today people think that they get everything they need in the food they eat. This is absolutely not true. All you have to do is basically dissect their diet and analyze what it is that they do eat. And you can prove to them in a very short period of time that they're not even getting close. In this day and age, where we have too much abundance, we are suffering with malnutrition by the overconsumption of empty calorie foods. That means that calories in the wrong forms are being consumed without the essential vitamins and minerals and the carotenoids and the flavonoids and all the other players that form this team that contribute towards genetic expression and ultimately good health and a strong immune system. Because of the media and false propaganda and fear-mongering, I think that a lot of people are afraid of vitamins and they should be afraid of the prescription drugs that they pop like candy. Vitamins are essential, they're orthomolecular. What that means is that they're right and they are the molecules that we require that man didn't invent. We require them because that is how we evolved. They're present in the food if consumed natural and whole and real. They're not present in packaged modern factory-made food or they're added and what's added is not the same as what's found in nature. There's a difference between chemically produced vitamins and naturally occurring. So vitamins are basically safe. They're biofriendly. They can be taken with some exception in very high doses. And when they are taken in high doses or in megadose form, they have different properties. They affect the way the body works and functions and moves and utilizes them. They can be used for healing for renovation, for restoration. This is a very important point that I want to make, that you eat the best diet you possibly can, you add the vitamins and minerals as dietary supplements, and the diet gets better.